muffin o tabena gara kaban o hikizute nebari to benetto no ato o ota Well, I was eating muffin. Kaban o hikizite. Pick up. I pick up the bags. Nebari to veneto no ato o ota. I follow after nebari and veneto. Does he follow slowly or does he follow fastly? Let's see. Ato. Uh, the ota. thing I would tell you is the ota. Oh. Uh, he he chased after them. Yes, he chased after them. Uh, futari ga tado o mukaru. Magaru. Ma. So mu ma. um looks a little bit differently. So ma is the one that looks like that. Magaru. Right. So two people. Hi. They they make a corner. Yeah. They bend, the, they bend the corner, yeah. Which in English we might say they turn a corner, right? The two of them turn a corner. They bend the right. corner. Um, Oitsu. Oitsuku ni wa. Oitsuku ni wa. Aru, aru. Ashiru. Ashiru. Shikanai. You know how oitsuku is different than o? Hmm. So tsuku attach Hi. oi to chase. So to chase and to attach. So he managed to catch up. Yes, that's what that word would mean. But it might not not it might not be specifically referring to that in the context, but that's what the verb means. It is to chase and catch up. Chase and catch up. So chase and catch up ni wa arishi kanai. He did not run. Hai. Ashiru ikanai. Nothing but running. Yes. So niwa here is the gram the special grammatical niwa, which basically means like tame. Right? In order to. So in order to oitsuku, what does he have to do? He Ashiru shikanai. He has to run. Hi, he has no choice but to run if he wants to catch up. Quick question, Mani. Hi. How do we identify that this niwa is a grammatical niwa? Well, if you look right here, we have a ku. Oitsuku. This is in dictionary form. Ni as a particle mm. for location, time, and um, adverbs. Do not have verbs touching it like that. That is disgusting. It would never, ever touch a adverb. So that's how you know. Um, so if there was, if this said like, um, like, pa, like, shokudo ni wa hashiru shikanai, that would mean running to the diner. Uh, you have, we have no choice but to run to the diner, is what that would mean, right? Because in that case, it's the diner being marked as the location of hashiru, the place you're running to, and wa as a topic marker, versus niwa, the grammar point, which means um, for. In general, you could just use context because it shouldn't make sense, right? It doesn't make sense to say he ran to the location of running the catch up, right? That doesn't make any sense. All right. Um, but it is the, the grammatical thing of what ni allows to go with it as a adverb marker 
uh, verbs in dictionary form do not go in front of it. So verbs in dictionary form only normally go in front of relative clauses, which are nouns. And in this case, niwa also will allow it. Hi. Um, one moment, Mani. My screen went blank. Okay, I come, I come back. Okay. Ka, ka, bang, o. Ashi ni butsuke nagara. Kubi tsuri ori. Tori. It is tori, tori. But it does actually get rendaku for street names. Dori. And we know it's a street name because our author is really nice and puts in these nice little quotation marks like that. Oh. Hitsu. Hitsushi. You're right. We do have Hitsushi right here. However, she is voiceless. That starts with a sh sound. And tsu has a special grammatical rule that what happens when you have tsu between um one kanji and another kanji and the other guy's voiceless. Do you know what happens to tsu? So it gets to be um like a glottal stop. Yes, it becomes hisi. Right. And you'll see this all the time with like, for example, Hatsu on oh what's that? Kanji. Like um Hatsu Hatsu on and um Hapyo. You can see they both have the same Hatsu kanji, Hatsu on and Hapyo, but pa pa is voiceless. So we get that little stop from the ha. So, Hapio. Hitsushi becomes Hishi. Hishi. Hishi ni. Um, ar, arita, aruta, ash, ashita. No. Hashiru, hashita. Hashi, hashiru, hashita. So... Kaban o ashi ni utsuke nagara. Utsuke is utsuke. So um, to hit. this is to get to attach, and the boot here is to hit. Utsukeru. The kaban to hit. So I hit. While, while I was hitting my leg at the what? bags, I hit my leg with what? With with the bag with the bags. Right. Yep. Or my legs hit the bag. Basically, um, it's it's. It's kind of like a interesting as like to hit as like to make something hit. Um, but basically, you know, he's running and the bags are slamming into the back of his head, legs. Or however, could be the front or whatever. Just the, the bags are heavy. So they're slamming into his legs when he's running. While well, the bag were hitting my legs. Um, kubi, tsuri, dori, o, hishi ni, hashita. Um, run, hishi ni, adverb. Right. Our adverb is hishi All my might. Yep. I run, I ran with everything I had on the the street of hang the hang man street perfect yep good job yep so all is saying he's running on that street hi um koreja saki to shiro to dareka ni oetate 
Regarding that, Hi. Saki to shiro. It's um not saki. It does shiro. look like that. But if you look closely, it's sasa. Sasa to shiro. Sasa to. Sasa to is the om the omi yes. pe omni what's sound effect. The word what to I describe. <laughs> I just say sound effect. I can't say onomatopedia. I did it, but <laughs> half the time I can't. Uh, meaning, like, sh shuffling of the foot. Mm, kind guessing. of. Sasa. One foot up. Fast. Fast. Shiro is suru, but here in volitional. Right. So I'm going to move fast. So shiro. Shiro. What form is that shiro in? Do you know? Oh, it's to shiro. Meaning he attempted, I attempt to go fast. Let's pause. Shiro. You're getting shiro confused with shiyo. Shiyo. With a long o. Shiyo. So shiyo to suru means to attempt. You're right. To try to do something. And shio is volational form, which means I'm going to do something. But right here, we don't have shio, We have shiro, which is related to the verb suru. Do you know what this is? Is this, what form of shiru is this? This is imperative. It is imperative form. So it's an order. So hurry up and go. Is uh what it's saying. I see. Hurry up. Um to dareka ni. Dareka ni. Uh oi ta te oi ta te rare ta ir mitai da. It seems. Someone or by someone or from someone. Um hi. Hurry chase. Yeah. Oi Um oitateru, so that's the normal form of the verb, is to chase someone like cattle, like like a sheepdog chases someone, to herd someone. And then it's in radedu form. Which, how does that change the meaning? Take the passive form. Hi. So, be in chase. Yep, be in chase. Be in chase like cat. By who? Be in chase. I'm in chase. It seems like I am being chased. Hi. Or by someone saying what? By someone who say, Sasato shiro. Hi. It's basically but here it's say to to is the quoting particle and then following that is dareka someone Hi. ni is by right money yes ni is by with um passive verbs with passive by someone i'm being chased Hi. it seems like i was mitaida Hi. and that koreja is also modifying this like so the main character has to run really frantically, right? In order to catch up right. with the people. So he's describing that situation of running so frantically that it's like he's being urged on by someone who's chasing him, who's hurting him like cattle. Hi. Ikio. Ki. Ikio. Um. Ikio kira shite suite iki. Sanin de ashi ya ashi haya. We do have ashi and haya. Any idea of how we might change how that's read slightly? Ashibaya. Hi, perfect. Ashibaya ni. 
パソカレガイをつきた。OK。そう、切らして、息を切らして、with all the breath. はい。Ex、so, kiru is the cut. Yes. Breath. スイッテイキ。I come.I come.I スイッテイ mean I, I attach.、はい、And then イキ is イク。I go.I、はい、go. I go. I go. I leave、location. the current location. So I, and then I catch up. I スイッテイ。はいはい。Right? Yep. I catch up by leaving the current location. Sun in the the three of us. Ashibaya ni. Arrive on foot. That's a good no, guess. No, no. But the main、uh, thing here is haya. Which is early. Good. Haya does mean early, but this haya、um, means quickly. So, so quickly ashibaya on foot. Mean, yes.、Um, yeah. A brisk walk, basically. Good. Taso got it, guy. Oh. Suki ta. Sukiru. What is suki ta, mommy? Hi. So, tukiru is a verb that we see quite a bit in this book. So, it might be one for you to write down. Tukiru is tu from to poke and kiru from to cut. And it's used in a way, for example, we saw it quite a bit with cutting through a room. So it basically means the idea is that you're going, you're going straight out of some kind of location to like cross, basically. So this right here, this、Tas、verb is insinuating they're leaving. Tasogaregai. Hi. We cross the Twilight District. Quickly on foot, the three of us. Tasora gare gai wa futano na futano nai ke zui or ge zui. Ge zui ko kara. Ge zui ko kara. It's like、um, the sewage. Specifically, the area where it is, not sewage itself. From the sewage. Sewer is the word. That's, that's, that's what we call it. A sewer? A sewer.、Yeah. Oh, hi. The place where the sewer is. Para yo. Ni. That's an adverb. So you would guess that, but no, tada yo is a verb. So that means this ni cannot be the particle ni. That is not possible. So we have to assume it's either going to be ni wa. Which is like grandma part we just saw, or this is a noun right here. Nio, nioi, nioito. Hi, nioi. Nioito, ishi, ishiba. That's a good guess. This、Ishika. is Sakitan. It got its、um, married reading here. Sakitan. Sakitan. Oh. Oh, Moyatsu. Kemuri de Kusai. Tokoro daga. Kawani suku. Kazu. Chikazu. Chikazu kuni. Chikazu kuni tsu. Chikazuku. Here's a particle. It's not a particle, ni, is it, Mani? You're, you're kind of right, this is, but a tsurite is like a.、Um, it's like a exception, ni tsurite.、Um, ni tsurite, is that also. Yeah, that, that one is a little bit a... of an exception. It, it's, it's not normal part, of, it's like its own grammar point, like niwa. 
that in accordance with s of x then y in proportion to right so kawa ni kazuku ni suru te shinda sakana to doro no nioi mo mazaru yo ni natta that mean na in the past form it is not yes it was not um so na in past time is na ka 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 katta ah, there's no ka so this is this is naru in the ta form hai not meaning it is the past form of naru it yep. became so yo ni like but this is an observation Right. Um, right, Mani? Yoni? Yes. Not mitai. In this case, it's not really um mitai. Yes. It basically so means like, it came to be. Um, it's, it's, it's apparent. Hi. Yoni, right? The appearance. You okay. should start with um, tokoro da. That's our first clause, which is tasuara gai wa tokoro da. That's our first um, sentence. So at the point, tokoro da, the place or the You're right the that place tokoro time. Be, yes. Place slash time. So place at time. So what happened here? Tazo gare gai, futa meaning fat. That's a good guess. Futoi does mean fat. Futa means lid. Because it's futa ga nai. Futa no nai. Because it's a relative clause. So futa no nai. It, is like it's not lead. Uh, futa, futa is a. I said um lid, but that's like the top of a container. This is a futa. So no futa no nai gezui gezui ko kara from the Hai. sewer that is topless that have no lid. Hai. The lidless sewer. From there, para yo ni oi, the smell that is tara yo must be in like a bad smell, like a, a horrible guess. smell. Tara yo sort. actually doesn't mean bad smell. Tara yo is actually the verb telling what the smell is doing from the sewer. It is wafting from the sewer. So this is a verb specifically right. used to describe basically something moving through air in a kind of um right. like a balloon or a candle it's that kind of like a ghost it's not like something being shot right. through a cannon in the air so it's a slow movement through air um which in english is the word walk right. which is used more often in british than american english i think <laughs> right. i word. think the scientific was um diffusion it Diffuse. diffuses across. Yeah. The particles do. That is what it means. <laughs> the particles are diffusing I... from the. Um, I think that's even less Particle. common, though. <laughs> odor. Are diff the odor it's... is diffusing from the sewer. I, th I think waff I... is a better word to use. Well, <laughs> but you're correct. A... <laughs> Warf across. The smell wafted across um, <laughs> height. So it's tight, old toy. This smell to which is drift across. Hi. Uh, oh, and and we say this is sekitan. Sekitan. Right, Mani? Hi. Sek sekitan. Hi. Sekitan. Hi. Ko. Sekitan o moyasu burnt. Right. Kem. So one is burnt and then kemuri de, meaning the, the suit, the kemuri, leftover of the soap. The, the... Kemuri means smoke. Smoke. So right. the smoke of the burnt coal. Of the burning coal. 
kusai here from the verb kusai. No, this kusai is, a is a adjective. Kusai. Which means something and smells bad. And it means bad, bad smell or height. <laughs> so it's uh, stinky. Hokoro. A stinky acoustic. Hokoro da. At the point of at the point when this happened. Hi, so tokoro means place and time. Place. It doesn't necessarily mean at the point. It just means place or time. So our main sentence here is the twilight district is a place. It is a place. That is our basic sentence here. Then we describe the place Hi. as kusai. Kusai tokoro. The because if you just said Tatsura Gai wa kudat kusai, which is the Twilight District stinks, that's not necessarily the place literally Hi. stinks. Maybe it's like it just sucks or something. Maybe Tatsura Gai is the name of someone who has a really weird ass name that sounds like a street name. Who knows? But now we know this is a location that smells. And they're probably referring to the current place, the, the location of Tatsura Gai today versus like this. Twilight District 20 years ago or something. And then it's like, why does it smell? There's so many reasons why a place could smell bad. Well, that's why we have de here as the tool. It smells bad because there's smoke. Smoke from burning coil. And I... the smell um, that's drifting. I love that word to use. That's the word we actually use. Drifting from the sewer that has no lid. So it smells really bad. I, because it have no lid in a way, I, uh, that little tiny detail. <laughs> I, um, now second clause. Kawa ni chikazuku. The vicinity of the river. So chikazuku means near to the get river. closer. So this is saying as I get closer to the river. Kawa ni chikazuku ni tsurete. So this grammar point means I as, see here. as you get closer to the river, something else happens. Shinda. Takana. Dead fish. Hi. Oh. Toro no. Okay. Shinda. Sakana. To doro. Doro here referring to mud. Hi. Or dirty water. Yep. Mud. Of stagnant water, some, some. I don't know if stagnant water has a smell. No. I don't know, but here it say dead fish and mud. Hi. No, nioi. Ah, no. Here re is the possessive no Hi. particle here. So the smell, dead fish. Mo. The particle. Indicating that this is also on top of on top of what was before, and what was before was kusai, the bad smell coming from um, the sewage, right, and the coming smoke. from the burnt coal, and the smoke, and the thing that come out of the sewage. On top of that, now this nioi is mazaru yoni like a mazaru mazaru is a verb so, so yo so yoni naru is a specific grammar point that i might not have taught you it doesn't mean the normal yo which is a metaphor it means to come to be yoni naru yoni nata so it came to be that the nioi of mud and dead fish was mazaru as we get closer to the river with the smell of the smoke and the smell from the sewer. Mani, so which one is, so yoni, yoni is a metaphor and then mitai is also a metaphor. Yes, they're both similar. Right, Mani? Hi. I keep getting confused. And then there's a, the third was an actual you're thinking uh, about soul. Allergies. Like soul na. 
I remember a book that looks interesting. One of them is an actually it looks like something else. So so na this yes. looks at mitai is a simile meaning this is analogous to the other thing. It doesn't have to look like it, but it's behave right. in such a way that one would think like uh, the ninja move like a cat. Yes, he doesn't look like a cat, but he moves like a cat, right? So that would be mitai. Yes, and, and this is yoni your... is the same as mitai. They are the same. Mitai tends to insinuate more of a focus on physical appearances. So right here, it's focusing more on the look of how the main character is running than the feeling he has as he's running. Um, well, Yoni tends to focus more on the feeling behind something than the physical appearance of something. But they are basically interchangeable. But that's why you might use one versus the other. And, you know, sometimes it doesn't mean it's necessarily doing that. But that tends to be how the scale kind of flows. However, this Yoni Naru is like an extra grammar point that has nothing to do with the previous grammar point. It's kind of like how we just saw ni here, and then there's niwa over here. These two things are unrelated, because um, normal grammatical ni doesn't take verbs. And if you see a verb with ni, it's going to be doing some other grammatical thing that's not normal. Same with the ni tsurete here and niwa. So this ni is a separate ni, than the normal ni for ashi ni butsukeru, which is the, or kawa ni chikazuku. Those knees there, these two knees on the top are different knees than the knees on the bottom. Two totally different knees, no relationship with each other. They take different things in front of them. Um, that's kind of what's going on with the yo here. It's a, basically, it's a different grammar point, which does not mean looks like. Yo ni naru means it came to be, for example, Oyogeru yo ni naru means I came to be able to swim. It just means something came to be. It's not, it became that it was like I could swim. It's not what it's saying there, which um, yo ni on its own does mean like. But when you add naru, it's just a different grammar point. Hi. Yo ni naru. Yo ni natta. It came to be mazaru. So here, mazaru meaning to mix. To mix. It came to mix. So here, the smell of dead fish and mud mix. It came to be mixed with one another. Right. Specifically, I would say since we had, um, it could be that, yeah. I kind of was mixing all the smells together, but um, it's not actually necessarily saying that. The mo, the also here, feels like we're adding it to the previously mentioned nioys, and that was mentioned, which was the smell of smoke and the smell of the um thing. But if this said like nioy wa or something or o oh, or whatever, um whatever verb Mazaru takes, that probably o oh, I would assume. Um, mm. Mazaru to be mixed. I guess it's like ga actually. <laughs> to the bird. It's I, a ga. Um but uh with the molt since it added. has also we can assume it's including the previous clauses smells. Hi. Cool. Wakata. That's where we're stopping.